Hello Cyberland. My name is Marlon. The channel is Old Fart Hacks and we're going to continue, actually start, ripping this thing apart to see exactly what the guts look like. Now I did notice one thing as I was just starting to play with it. I noticed how loose this was so I thought I'd see what happens if you tighten this nut up. Tighten the nut. Turn this thing the other way. Cheap Chinese, uh, good cheap Chinese uh, wrench for Chinese equipment, you know, of course. And if you tighten the nut up, guess what? You can now not rotate it. Well, yeah, no, not rotate it. So there's a problem there with the stack up here. This, when you tighten it up, there's a little too much gap underneath or gap in the back side of this where the bearings run. And it binds up. So anyway, let's go ahead and pull the nut off. This is one of those locky type nut, nuts with the uh, nylon washer in it. So needless to say, it just doesn't come apart easily. We're into the... Okay, now it'll come apart easily zone. More or less. Okay. Anyway, and what we find underneath here... We set this in A43. Yes. A40. Yeah, okay. And we have the knob. The knob is, of course, dirty. Gee, go figure. And that is actually not dirt. That's not dirt. That's rust on this steel ring right here which by the way here's your friction element for the measuring ring it's a piece of tape cheap tape at that so we have a rusted ring here I'll have to do something about that and again I don't know if the measurements here are Correct, we go up to three, we go up to basically four. That's two, four, six, eight. I assume that's a millimeter. We'll see. Oh, these edges are. Eek. You could shave with those things. Anyway. Yeah, it cleans up a little bit. But yeah, that's actual rust. On the back side of that ring and in the middle. Lovely patch of rust there. Horrible job of nickeling. Because that's clearly nickel plated. Okay, and then underneath that we have the bearing stack. The bearing is two roller bearing or roller bearing and it's two uh braces. And then we have the screw. Now I haven't touched anything here beyond. In fact, I, took, I did take this a little bit apart a few minutes ago, and then I decided I better set up the camera. Anyway, now here's one of the fun things I noticed once I got here. Just notice how well installed this part is. Not. Let's see what, well, let's get that key out of there. Key. Not. A43 and a half. Put a uh, key in the middle of bearings. That way I can either remember it and get them properly or rip it off and let it go flying. And then let's see what we've got here in size wise. Uh, five millimeter? No. Oh, yeah. Gee, those are loose. Go figure. Okay, and then on the other side of this plate, we have another set of bearings 
and a race point for it. So if nothing else, this is actually, in the setup form, this is not bad. You have the races, the annular bearing, or the ball bearing, and, you know, done properly, this will give very good, ac or reasonably good accuracy, aside from the fact, of course, if you could even get past the burrs. Ah, uh, the burrs. You're a burr, there a burr, everywhere a burr, burr. So cold, it's Berbers, or is that another race of people? I don't know. And then, of course, you have the screw, which is binding up as well. Yeah. Anyway. Well, no point in taking that out right now, because I'm going to go through this a little more thoroughly. I'll deburr it, I'll clean it up, I'll polish it up, I'll take the shaving edge off here and here, and we'll go from there. But that's at least a look at what's the ins or the starting point of the inside of these things. And I think we'll it, cut it there because this is already getting towards seven minutes, folks. So, again, Marlin, Old Part Hacks, hope you guys have a great day, and of course the key to that is don't get caught, as you well know. Ta-ta, good wishes, all that. Bye.